Hi, today Piotnet Grid is going to show you how to use map and geolocation facet. Let's us demonstrate their operation firstly. We made an available template containing facets and the grid. This demon station specializes in tourist field, it shows Vietnam destinations and relevant quotations. These filterable map and geolocation facets are really helpful to approach quickly the most appropriate locations. As a tourist, I pick a travel package plan for 4 days and 3 nights. Besides, I'll revise my budget frame. Immediately, the map facet returns to results displayed directly on the Google map. I possibly click on these places to show the marker. In the meanwhile, there are two corresponding posts returned by grid. Okay, I'll reset the facets to test the next extra function. Enable this button to trigger panning function. As you can see, there are three posts displayed right below when I tried zooming up. Let's pan the map to one specific position. The grid returns properly one post as well. When combining the geolocation facet, it allows you to find results near a manual target location. For instance, I want to search the travel scenes near Hanoi City the capital of Vietnam. Then choose a distance from a drop-down list beside the search box. The map promptly returns appropriate locations within a 500 km radius. Right below the map, the grid also displays the corresponding posts. Alright, let's get started to configure facets. At the moment, our Piotnet grid is compatible with ACF, Metabox, Toolsets, Jet Engine, and other custom fields. Create a Google Maps field type for your own database firstly. In Google Maps integration of Piotnet grid settings, fill out your Google API key. Add a new facet to set up a map. Temporary name for this facet is Google Maps. In the beginning, I'll pick a section to cover elements. Drag and drop a facet to this section. In facet action, keep the default filter. Choose map in the facet type. Then query your Google Map custom field. The map aspect ratio is the displayed height and width frame ratio on front end. Up to you, there are a couple of default values to customize, such as latitude, longitude, and zoom. The marker is the icon or image displayed when you click on location. There are two options to customize marker by uploading image or using a card template. Pan to search is an extra function to show corresponding results once panning directly to the map. Afterward, save the facet and check it on preview. Then create a template to assemble facet with grid.
I desire to separate general facets and map by two columns. Pick a facet widget to the first column and select my available general facet. Keep taking a next facet to the right column. Choose the Google Maps facet. Additionally, I'll create one more section to contain my available grid. Let's save this template and check the result. Well, both the facets and grid operate as usual. Now, I'll add more a facet as a geolocation search box. At the same way, add a section to cover widgets. Choose geolocation and drop down list of facet type and query your appropriate map custom field. There are two unit of measurement, they are miles or kilometers. In this case, I prefer kilometer. For radius options, you possibly customize them. Notice for proper format, radius choices are separated by commas, the values need to be integers. The default radius is to be shown in the radius selector for the first search. Eventually, save the facet and apply it in the previous template. Let's check the final result. If I search with a radius of 500 kilometers, the facet only shows results within a 1000 kilometers diameter area. Check more tests for larger and smaller radius. Users also can adjust map size by these zoom icons. That's all we want to show you on Filterable Map Topic today.